What's up YouTube, Jason Wardrop here, and in this video I'm gonna break down how to start a YouTube channel for beginners so you can actually make some money, right? Because that's kind of the cool thing, that's what everyone hopes to go through and do. Now, this is something I've become super passionate about because I've seen how YouTube has really helped transform and affect my business over the last nine months or so that I started. I started back in January of 2018 of this year, and you can see right here on my channel, I have just over 13,000 subscribers, so Obviously, there's channels that have a lot more subscribers than my channel, uh, but the cool thing is, you guys can see here from ad revenue, I'm gonna make about $2,600, or just shy of $2,600 in ad revenue um, in the past 30 days. So in the last month, $2,600, and that doesn't count any course sales or anything like that. That's just an ad revenue, which is pretty cool. And that's also why I'm so passionate about YouTube, and I honestly think everyone should start a YouTube channel, whether you're camera shy or not, you need to start a YouTube channel. My my wife and my brother actually make fun of me because every single person I meet, I'm like, man, you need to start a YouTube channel. It's gonna be so awesome. And this actually kind of hit me about, probably, I think it was last month. I was flying home from San Francisco and I flew into the Salt Lake Air Airport. And um, when I got there, there was this older gentleman. He was probably in his 70s and he was vacuuming the floors in the airport. And I'm like, man, if this guy only would have started a YouTube channel 10 years ago, he could have some passive income coming in and he wouldn't have to be here as a janitor and vacuuming the floors at 1 a.m. Because I guarantee you, he does not want to be there, doesn't want to do that. So guys, that's why I'm so passionate about, about YouTube. So in this video, I want to break down step by step and show you guys everything that you need to do if you're getting started with YouTube of how to structure the channel the right way. And I've, I've got this all laid out step by step. I actually even made a checklist for you guys. So if you guys drop a comment down below, I'll be able to share this with you. And if you guys find this video helpful, I would really appreciate it if you guys give it a thumbs up. It helps more people be able to find this. And the great thing about YouTube, guys, is when I first started, I thought that, oh man, I can't get started on YouTube because there's so much competition. But the truth is, if somebody's gonna watch, let's say, a fitness channel, which there's millions of fitness channels, and someone's into, into fitness, let's, let's say intermittent fasting, that person that's into intermittent fasting, they're not only watching one person's channel. They're probably gonna watch five to 10 other intermittent fasting channels, and that's the beauty about YouTube, the collaboration. It's not like because they bought one product, they're not gonna buy another one. It's not because they're watching one channel, they're not gonna watch another one. So as far as competition goes, it's kind of irrelevant. Right, so that's why I want to go through and break down step by step why you should start a YouTube channel. It really doesn't matter what business you're in, it doesn't matter what you're passionate about, just jump in and start a channel. So the first thing on this checklist you can see is create a new YouTube channel. Right now, if you guys have a Gmail account, just go to YouTube.com, sign in, it's going to kind of prompt you. Or I just searched in Google new YouTube channel, very top result, create a YouTube channel. But since I already have a channel. The thing is, it won't let me go through and just create a new channel. So I've got to come over here. I've got this other link popped up. And let's see, right here. So it's got under this email address, it has all my different channels. So these ones are two random ones. I don't remember why I started those, but this is my main channel. This is our software's channel, about 846 subscribers. We haven't really focused too much on that. But all I have to do is just click on create a new channel right here. Okay, and I'll add that link down below in the description as well so you guys can go through and grab that. And so we're gonna say, we're gonna call this a test channel. And guys, the nice thing about Google, Facebook, YouTube, all these different platforms, they literally make this so easy. They walk you through step by step. So if you're a brand new total beginner, you're not really sure how to go through and make this all happen, they just walk you through, okay? So we're just gonna hit create on this channel. And then it's gonna walk us through this whole creation process my internet is it's, okay so now we're here okay so test channel what we can do now we come back over here create a cover photo and upload your profile picture now these ones are kind of interchangeable it doesn't really matter which one you do first so I'm gonna actually go through and upload my profile picture just cuz it's right here I'm just gonna click on this and it says um, edit your channel icon okay and then I'm just gonna go through and upload a photo so I've got one Got my profile picture right here on my desktop right there so just click open and then once my internet goes done 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 
And then sometimes it takes a second to go through and get fully updated on your channel. Now, they kind of kick me to a weird screen, so let's get back over to YouTube here. So we click on YouTube. Now, if we want to go back to like where we go and edit everything, we just click on this top little icon. We click on that and we go to this YouTube Studio or sometimes it's Creator Studio. This is kind of a newer edition. So YouTube Studio Beta or we can just go to my channel and we can click on customize channel, right? So the second thing we want to do if we look over here on this checklist is uh, create a cover photo. Now, I don't know about you, I'm not a designer, I'm not very good at like making things look nice, and so I use a 100% free tool that is called Canva, C-A-N-V-A.com. You can see all of the different things that I um, create on here. This is where I create this checklist, and then you can come over here, it's got all these pre-built um, templates, the sizes, like this is where I create all my YouTube thumbnails, right? So we're just gonna click on more, and then we're gonna come down here, and it's gonna have one that has the YouTube. So you see social media and email headers. YouTube thumbnail, and then where is it? YouTube channel art, right there. So we click on that, and they've got all these pre-built designs that we can go through and use for our business. So like, let's say you like this one right here, or maybe like you like this one right here, and you see they've got all these different free options. They have some paid options, but you can just really go through and choose whatever you want. Then. If you want to upload a picture, you can upload it there. You can add text, add elements. You can change out the text right over here. So we can say we're going to call this our test channel, something like that. We can go through and just really customize everything that's going on here. So this looks like this is an actual. So we'll go like this. Okay, and then you just hit download. We'll hit download right there, saving your design. And then it's going to download it to our desktop so that we can then go upload it as our channel art. Okay, so it's right there. We'll drag to our desktop, hit add channel art, and then we're just gonna drag this on over, upload it, and then we just hit, okay, you can see, you can adjust the crop if you want to. This looks good to me, so I'm just gonna hit select, save right there, and you guys notice it hasn't updated my profile picture. Sometimes it takes a minute for that to go through an upload, so if you did upload it and it's not looking like it's uploaded, don't worry, it's 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 totally fine. It's it's there. Um, it just takes sometimes a minute to go through and stay uploaded. So we're going through, we're moving through the checklist, guys. We've got create a new channel, create the cover photo, create, upload the profile picture, and then upload defaults, right? So what I like to do is every time you upload a video, sometimes there's things that you want as tags or defaults every single time that you upload a video. And also you can go through and make channel keywords. So like let's say your channel is about basketball, for example. So if it's for about basketball, you want probably to have the channel keywords to say basketball or basketball drills or NBA or LeBron James or something like that. So we'll come over here, we'll click on this little creator studio, and then this will take us back in where we can manage all the comments, the videos, everything that has to do with our channel. We'll hit got it. Now this YouTube studio beta, this is kind of newer. Um, I usually like to kind of use the classic Creator Studio, so I'm just going to actually click right down here, Creator Studio Classic, okay, and I'm just going to hit skip just for this example. It's going to take, just going to be easier for me to show you guys what's going on. So I'm going to come over here to the channel, and then we're going to click on Upload Defaults right here, okay, so for Upload Defaults, this is where we can go in here, and this is where we can add tags to our videos. So for example, we want our videos to be tagged with basketball and maybe comma LeBron James or Kobe Bryant or whatever it is and we can add tags so every time a video is uploaded we don't have to go through and put in all those tags but it's important to have those tags that are specific to that video. Then after we save this what we want to do is come down to advanced and this is actually where we're going to go through and put in the channel keywords. Okay, So this is going to be big. Uh, the country, I usually like to go through and actually do the country that you live in. So I'm in the United States, so United States right there. And the channel keywords, this is where we can go through and throw that in. Okay, because then then YouTube associates your channel with these specific keywords. So if your channel's keyword is basketball and then you go make a video on basketball, it makes it really nice to be able to go through 
and actually um, link it back in and get into the search rankings okay now all this other stuff as far as linking an AdWords account this is only real you can only actually go make money with ads after you have 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 watch hours which you guys can actually get there fairly quickly if you're uploading consistent videos right now I'm not going to go to that on this channel or on this video right now but this, this is kind of the basics once you guys get to 1,000 subscribers you can link an AdWords account and go through and, and get some some AdSense running so you can actually make some money from the ads that are actually running on your videos okay so once we have this done we'll come over here so we got the upload defaults and the channel stuff we're gonna go and find the top 10 channels in our niche now this is really important when we're going through and creating videos to know which videos to create because we want to find what videos are already popular okay so this is kind of like a little bit of a video hacking technique of knowing what videos to go through and create so if our channel is on basketball we can go through and type in basketball right here and let's say it's more on basketball drills okay so like if your focus is basketball drills then you can come in here and we want to find the top like 10 channels or so so we're gonna come in here and click on filter and then we're gonna go over to channel okay so then we can kind of see what are the top channels so breakthrough basketball pro training basketball drills and skills basketball so you can see which ones baller boot camp you, you can see which ones have a lot of followers I love basketball TV these guys are really good these guys are really good at going through and doing their YouTube marketing as well um, get handles basketball so now what I do is I'll go find the top 10 channels or so and I will come over here and I will make a Trello board so Trello is another free tool so it's T-R-E-L-L-O dot com and I create a list you can see this is my YouTube tutorial one and I can say top channels okay and then I'm gonna make a card in here so I love basketball TV okay and then another one is um, baller boot camp okay so I come in here this is just for my research so I can go through and find out what channels are hot which ones should I go through and find out what videos were popular which ones I can go and make my own version of that video so we're just gonna go through and make this list right here and then what we're gonna do is come in here and type in ideas and then we're gonna say creating and then done or you could even say created okay so now what I like to do is I have the top channels so find top 10 channels in your niche and then find the top three to five videos from each one of these channels so the reason why we want to do this is because these channels their top videos are actually exposing to us and showing us what people are interested in watching okay so we come over here to basketball drills so for example this baller boot camp almost 200,000 subscribers we click on them and then we come over hey to guys I'll get Johnson baller boot camp and then what we can do is come over here and sort by we click sort by most popular and then from the most popular thing we can see okay Kyrie Irving crossover how to basketball moves basketball tips and fundamentals how to shoot how to euro step so it looks like in this market a lot of these how-to videos are super super catchy right so we can come over here and we can see like okay Kyrie Irving crossover so like we can make a video how to um, perform Kyrie Irving's crossover okay so then we just come over here to Trello okay and we can say how to perform or how to do Kyrie Irving's crossover okay and then we go down and we just like we don't want to do every single one of the videos but videos where we like oh I can have my own take on that like maybe this one basketball fundamentals and tips maybe I'm like ah, I don't really know but man James Harden his Euro step like I can totally go through and make a video that that's just as good and sometimes like what I like to do is I get the idea but I don't actually watch the video because sometimes when you watch the video it kind of changes your way of thinking you're like oh well, that's how they did it so that's how I'm gonna do it but if you go through and you just see like what the topic is and you don't watch the video and you make your own spin and rendition on it then it becomes a lot more quality of a video and it's very unique and custom to you okay so now we come down here and usually what I like to do is get about you know three to five starting out but then once you get you know you, you run out of videos right here and you're, you're creating so once you once you go through and you create a video you move it over to creating once you're done you move it over to created and this is how you keep track of everything okay and then once you run out of ideas here 
which this should get you about 30 to 50 videos right out of the gate just different topics and ideas so you're finding your top 10 channels and from each one of those you're finding the top three to five videos that you can go through and create from those channels making a huge list right here so like let's say a b c d e so you got all these videos right here and then when it's like okay man like today I'm feeling like making this one move it to creating okay I'm done move it to done okay so then you go through and you're just this is how I really keep all my videos super organized and this is how I go through and keep all of my my research for all the channels and what videos are hot which ones are not and seeing which types of videos that I can go through and create now if you have a, a topic that obviously comes to your mind you're like man I'm passionate about this I really want to just do it even if it's not like a hot topic on one of these channels by all means go for it create it that I mean that's totally cool obviously but this is just I, one thing that most youtubers struggle with is after they've gotten some content they've got some videos up after about 30 40 50 videos like man what else should I make as a video like I, I feel like I've covered all the topics out there well dive into some other channels maybe you go and add 20 channels to this list right here and go find out what some what other videos that they've done okay so from there you just go through repeat the process ideas creating created boom and then if you really want to go through and grow your channel the fastest go and make a new video every single day now the thing is is you don't have to go through and spend hours editing the video like this one I might, might have a one or two edits just uh, parts where maybe I messed up or something like that but it doesn't have to be crazy edits and these videos don't need to be super long they can be just 10 to 12 minutes long they don't need to need to be a long video like this one this one I'm just diving more in depth I'm breaking down showing you guys more detail how to actually go through and start a YouTube channel and then once you've gone through and you've stayed consistent typically after about 60 days if you've done like 60 videos in a row you're, you're getting that subscriber base up there to once you get a thousand subscribers you can add ads to the YouTube channel and you can actually start making money from when people go through and watch those videos now anytime I upload a new video like look at this yesterday I didn't even upload a video and I made hundred and two dollars just yesterday which is pretty awesome right so um, and then usually like on days I upload a video so like today it'll probably be another hundred dollar spike because you know I've already uploaded probably a hundred plus other videos and then it's just getting these spikes so you can see some of these days hundred and nine hundred fourteen dollars hundred and twelve dollars so as you stay consistent with this and I don't even upload a video every single day most months I'm probably only doing about 10 videos so one every few days but those first 60 days I was pretty religious on doing a new video every single day all right now anyway guys that's basically the the strategy of how to go through and get your YouTube channel initially started and then how to go through and build it up to the point where you can actually start making money so start uploading one video per day now remember if you guys want this checklist drop a comment down below more than happy to share it with you guys and also if you guys found this video helpful you liked it go ahead give it a thumbs up I would greatly appreciate that and if you guys are brand new here to the channel be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell because we launch new videos every single week showing you how to generate leads make more money and grow your business so you can go through and um, have this awesome YouTube lifestyle right here so anyway guys thanks so much for watching I hope it was helpful and remember these tools canva c-a-n-v-a dot com this was to go through and create that channel art and then Trello t-r-e-l-l-o dot com those are just some little helpful hints and, and tools that I go through and use to keep organized to go create that channel art and also create my YouTube thumbnails right so anyway guys thanks so much for watching and um, with that said I hope you guys enjoyed the video drop a comment give it a thumbs up and I'll see you guys in the next